Hi, boys and girls. It's time for another story. This story is called The Mystery of the Missing Cinnamon Rolls. Well, you know, our story takes place when I was 16 years old, and I had gone away to a boarding academy. And a boarding academy is a place where high school students go and they live in dormitories. They're there over the weekends, except for weekends that are holidays or when it's a break time and then we would go home. This academy was a very big place. Might in fact, the girls' dormitory held 300 students and the boys was almost as big. That's a lot of students. That's like 600 students. When I had gotten there, everybody went to school half days and they had a job besides going to school. A lot of the students that had been there for other years already had their jobs, but us new students, we got assigned. Now this school had lots of jobs, janitorial jobs. There was a cafeteria where people worked in the kitchen. They had a furniture factory. They had a farm where they milked cows. It was a busy, busy place. You could work in all sorts of places. Well, I was assigned to work in the cafeteria. Well, I like to cook, and so I didn't mind that at all. And we had a nice lady that was the supervisor. Her name was Mrs. Abbott. Now, Mrs. Abbott, she looked like a lady that should be in charge of a cafeteria. And she was a really nice lady. She could be very stern if you didn't do what you were supposed to do. But all the rest of the time, she was happy and jolly. There was lots of different jobs to do in the cafeteria as well. When I started working there, I learned some specific things about the cafeteria. One was, because it was a school that we were there all the weekends and stuff, we went to church there as well. So when Sabbath would come around, they didn't want the people that worked in the cafeteria to have to work all day Sabbath making food. Besides, we should be ready for our Sabbaths. So on Friday, there were specific things that happened. We made all the food for Sabbath, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So on Sabbath, the ones of us that were assigned to work that weekend just had to go heat up the food and we served it to the people. It was easy. And for breakfast, they wanted us to have something special for breakfast, plus something that we didn't have to cook. So every Friday, we would make cinnamon rolls. That was a big treat. Now, I'm going to tell you how we made cinnamon rolls. You know, I have a big mixer, and I really like it. I can make bread and all kinds of wonderful things in it. But it was nothing like the mixers that were at the school. The mixers on the school were so big, they sat on rollers on the floor. And they had a bowl that was about this big around and stood about four feet tall, three and a half, four feet tall. And the mixer itself was about five feet tall. It was a big device, and they had several of them. And on Friday morning, those would be full of sweet bread dough raising to make those cinnamon rolls. Well, when it raised up enough, we would take that dough out in big hunks, and we would put it on a board 
that was made for that. We would dust it with flour. We would put that dough up there and we would beat it down and knead it and fold it over. And then we would take a big rolling pin and we would roll it out. Bigger and bigger it would get till it was a big rectangular piece of dough. Then we would take soft butter and we would cover it with butter. We would cover that with a lot of sugar and a lot of cinnamon. And then we would roll it up and we'd take a big knife and we would cut it into cinnamon roll shapes. Well, now if you go to the store, sometimes you get cinnamon rolls that are this big or maybe this big, but these cinnamon rolls were big. They were about six or more inches square. Those are big cinnamon rolls. When we cut them, they were huge. Then we would take those pans and cover the bottom of that pan with butter and brown sugar. And then we would put those big cinnamon rolls all in a row on those pans. And we had big rolling racks that those big, they were huge cookie sheets, would fit in. And we would roll all those cinnamon rolls across the kitchen over to huge ovens that we had. And we would put all those cinnamon rolls in there and we would bake them because they were going to be Sabbath morning breakfast. Everybody got a sack lunch and in the sack lunch was wrapped up two of those huge cinnamon rolls and an apple or an orange and a carton of milk. It was a wonderful breakfast and it was real easy for the staff because everything was already made. Well, once those cinnamon rolls were made, they were rolled, they were all covered with plastic and they were rolled into the refrigerator so that later on in the day, we would take them out and cut them and wrap each individual one into a package that we would put in those lunch bags. Remember, I told you that we had about 600 students. Let's see if each student got two cinnamon rolls. That would be 1,200 cinnamon rolls. Wow, that's a lot of cinnamon rolls. And sometimes, might in fact, most times, we made more than that 1,600 cinnamon rolls because sometimes we had guests and sometimes some of the teachers wanted some of them. One week, we had made all those cinnamon rolls. It was time for supper. We had made a good supper for the students and we had cleaned up everything afterward. There were two boys in wa washing those huge kittles and those big bowls. They were the last ones to get done with their jobs. You know, on Friday night, we went to Vespers in the chapel. That was where they taught us about Jesus. Besides, we had classes, Bible classes that we learned. But that was our Friday night worship. The girls that worked in the cafeteria were especially anxious to get everything cleaned up and have the dishes done so we could go to our dorm rooms and get all beautiful, fix up our hair, fix up our faces, and put on pretty clothes because Sorry to say, not only did we want to go to Vespers to learn about Jesus, but we liked the idea that there were boys going to be there and we wanted to look our best. Well, Mrs. Abbott, she was the lady that ran the kitchen. She had gone over to where the boys were watching, washing those big kittles. And she said, are you boys almost done? 
and it was Bill and Tim. And they said, yeah, we're almost done. She said, well, you know, I want to go home and get dressed so I can go to Vespers. Would you lock the kitchen when you're done? And Bill and Tim said, yes, ma'am, we will. Well, she left. So it was just those two boys left down in that big kitchen. And they were scrubbing, scrubbing on those pots. And then Bill said, you know what? I just thought of something. Wouldn't it be fun to have cinnamon rolls tonight after lights went out? In the dormitories, the dean, they had master switches that they could switch and all the lights in the dorm would go out and you couldn't turn them back on with your light switch. That was so everybody would go to bed. The only lights were the lights in the bathroom and the little night lights that went down the hall. Bill, he looked at Tim, he said, what do you think? You know, they're not going to need all those cinnamon rolls. There's an awful lot of them. What if we took just one pan of them. They'd never miss a pan of them. Well, I can't remember how many was on a pan, but it was a lot. And they said, you know, we could put them in a garbage bag because whenever the last people left the kitchen, and it was generally a couple of the boys, they would take out the big black garbage bags and deposit them in the dumpster. Bill said, that's a wonderful idea. We'll just get another one of those big black garbage bags and we'll put the whole pan of cinnamon rolls in it. So as soon as they finished washing those kittles, they rushed back to the refrigerator and they pulled out a pan of those cinnamon rolls, the one that was the furthest in the back in that huge refrigerator. And then they took all the cinnamon rolls off of it and they put it it, they put them in that bag and then they said we better wash the pan or somebody will notice the pan so they took it in there and they scrubbed it and they dried it and they put it away then they grabbed the bag of garbage and they grabbed the bag of cinnamon rolls and they locked the door and they headed out and they put the garbage in the dumpster and they had their bag of cinnamon rolls it was a big bag but you know, it wasn't full like a big bag of garbage, but they really didn't want anybody to see them with it. You know, when you do something you know you're not supposed to, you don't want other people to know, do you? Well, they didn't want other people to know. So instead of walking on the main sidewalk that went between the girls' dorm and the boys' dorm, they went all the way down here. They went down the hill. They went down another sidewalk, and then they came back up the hill to the boys' dorm. When they got to the steps of the boys' dorm, do you know who came out? The boys' dean. He was the guy that was in charge of the whole dorm. And he saw the boys, and he said, Hi, boys. You guys better hurry if you're going to be to Vesper on time. And then he saw the garbage bag. He said, why are you guys hauling the garbage up here? He knew they worked in the cafeteria and they had to think fast. You know, when you do one thing wrong, it tends to lead to doing some other things wrong. Bill, he opened his mouth and he said, oh, this isn't the garbage, which that was true. He said, uh, we, we stopped at the laundry to pick up our, our laundry as we came back to the dorm. And the laundry was right down there. But they hadn't picked up the laundry. They told a lie. The dean said, all right, if you've got laundry to pick, put away, you better really hustle. So they ran to their room. And then they thought, where should we hide these cinnamon rolls? Well, one of the best places in a dorm room to hide something is in the back of your closet because your clothes will cover it. So that's what they did. They put that big bag of cinnamon rolls back there and they quickly got dressed 
and they discussed among themselves. They thought, we can't eat all those. Let's invite some of our friends to come after lights are out and share them with us. Nobody will ever know. Oh, yes, there we go again. Nobody will ever know. Oh, yes, they will. So Bill and Tim, they went to Vespers. And while everybody was standing out on the hall, ready to go into the chapel, they kind of went around to some of their friends and they whispered quietly to them, come to our room quietly after lights out. We have cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls. Oh, they all wanted cinnamon rolls. So they sat through Vespers. You know, I don't think they got a whole lot out of it because they were so busy thinking about eating those cinnamon rolls. Well, when chapel was over, Vespers was over, the boys went to their dorm and the girls went to their dorm and Tim and Bill went in their room. They got ready for bed. They crawled in their beds and they waited. Lights went out, click. You know, when the deans turn out the lights, you can't turn them back on. But they didn't mind. The lights were out. Now, if the guys could just come to their room without anybody seeing them or hearing them, they'd have a wonderful time. Pretty soon, their door opened and in walked one boy. And this kept happening for quite a while. And the monitor, which is the person that watches the calls, or the dean didn't seem to see them. Well, they got in there and they very quietly went, okay, guys, we have enough for three apiece. Now, remember how big those Simmons rolls were? Three cinnamon rolls. And these guys had had supper. Ooh. Well, they, yes, they were excited. The first one, they all gobbled down. The second one, they didn't eat quite as fast. And the third one, oh, their stomach, they didn't think, some of the boys said, you guys just keep them, we've had enough. And Tim and Bill said, no, we have to eat them all now. We have to get rid of the evidence. So every boy ate all three of their cinnamon rolls. Their stomachs didn't feel well, and they s snuck out into the night into their rooms. Well, when morning came, and it was time to be up and get ready for church, those boys didn't feel good. Oh, all that cinnamon roll felt like a rock in their stomachs. Oh, it didn't feel good. They weren't, oh, it was awful. Several of them went to the dean and said, I don't feel good. My stomach hurts. I feel like I need to throw up. Well, the dean thought it was a little odd that there were so many boys sick all on one day. He thought he probably should call the school nurse and have her come check into these guys. The dean, he went off to church. And Mrs. Abbott, after church, she had rushed over to the cafeteria because the girls had, had gotten out of church early to heat up the food for the students when they came. Miss Abbott, the night before, had filled all those little lunch sacks for the kids to have for breakfast. She had filled up all those bags, and she thought, I must have miscounted. There's not as many pans as we always make. So she went over to the dirty pans because she had put all the cinnamon rolls in their bags, and she counted them. Sure enough, there was one whole pan missing. And she thought, somebody stole some cinnamon rolls. So she went and she found the principal. 
and she found the deans for both dorms. And she said, we've had a cinnamon roll theft. We need to figure out what's going on. And she looked at the deans and she said, do you guys have any ideas? And she talked to the principal and the principal, he didn't know anything about cinnamon rolls that were missing. But the boys dean, he said to the principal, you know, I had a whole group of guys sick this morning. They said their stomachs hurt. I wonder, one of those pans would have been a lot of cinnamon rolls to eat. Then he thought, hmm. He remembered the two boys carrying that big garbage bag. Maybe it wasn't laundry after all. So he went back to the dorm and he gathered up Tim and Bill, which they were the ones with that big garbage bag. And he had all the sick boys come to his office. And when they were all sitting there, the ones with their stomach aches were kind of miserable, just, oh. And the dean looked around and he said, we have a mystery. A whole pan of cinnamon rolls was missing when Mrs. Abbott went to make the bags. Have any of you seen any cinnamon rolls? Nobody said anything, but their heads kind of went down. Did you, boys that are sick, did you eat a bunch of cinnamon rolls? The boys dropped their heads. They couldn't say no. They slowly shook their heads up and down. But they said, we didn't steal them. We didn't. And the dean, he turned his head to Tim and Bill. And he said, did you boys take the cinnamon rolls and put them in a garbage bag and bring them back to the dorm? And the dean said, well, I'm sorry, boys, but Tim, you and Bill could go home for a whole week. A whole week? Yes, because you stole from the school. We can't have thieves here. Well, they had to pay. For, they paid mightily for that taking of the cinnamon rolls. The boys got sick. Tim and Bill had to go home for a week. They missed a week of school. They missed all the fun activities that they ordinarily would have done. And they had to face their parents. It never pays to do what you know you're not supposed to do. Thank you, boys and girls, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.